Jennifer, the sound of ice cream trucks usually means chocolate, vanilla, and other delicious treats. But here on Staten Island, in some areas of this borough, it also meant prescription drugs. The New York City Office of Special Narcotics announced the indictment of 31 people involved in a prescription drug ring that sold the powerful pain reliever oxycodone from a lickety split ice cream truck in several Staten Island neighborhoods. The ring appears to have grossed nearly a million dollars in the street sales of oxycodone pills. Louis Scala and Joseph Safuda, who is also being investigated for his mob ties with the Lucchese crime family, allegedly ran the operation. Authorities explained that two men hired runners, mostly relatives and friends, to fill prescriptions at local pharmacies, then sell the pills out of the truck at $20 a pop. Runners were paid cash or in drugs. Nancy Wilkins, a former office manager at a Manhattan doctor's office allegedly provided the men with more than 300 scripts over a year-long period ending June 2010. Authorities say Saputo sold the drugs outside his home on Darnell Street and other areas preying on addicts. The amount of overdoses that we've seen escalate um, from oxycodone that people I think don't realize uh, the danger of it. And this is the third type of bus of this kind in the last two years here on Staten Island. Now new legislation has been drafted to try to help curtail the rise of the illegal sale of prescription drugs. You can